My mom has a little, she has like a, a little thing. You just go look at it. My mom, my mom is difficult, but she's, she does make a good chicken parm. Just don't bring up my mother ever again. <laughs> so I told my mom that you're Catholic. Oh, I guess that's correct. Culturally, I would call myself Catholic. But you don't believe in it. Right. But I'm glad I was brought up Catholic. But if you don't believe anymore, then, like, why exactly? I like the feeling of church. The ritual of it all. I went to a funeral for a friend of my mom's last year, and I was really comforted. The incense, the prayers. You know, I personally believe in something larger than us. I call that thing God. You know, something good out there, watching over us. That's nice. But, like, really unlikely. <laughs> you think? You don't believe in something like that? Oh, I don't believe in anything. Anything? Like, anything. Huh. Ugh, really? The gas chamber? It's barbaric. Eh. You don't think so? I think he's guilty of murder. Perhaps he should die. You don't think it's like, not our place? Like, man should never take a life? I don't believe in that. Hey, Derek? Hmm? Want me to read Sagittarius for you? No, thank you. I don't believe in that either. <laughs> All right, non-believer. What would you do in that situation? Like if you found out our apartment was haunted? <laughs> I don't believe in that either. But what if you saw something? Like with your own eyes, like, I don't know, like a, like a ghost climbing out of the toilet or something. Uh, ghosts aren't real. But what if you saw one? I would call an ambulance and take myself to the hospital. What? Ghosts aren't real, but you know what is? Mental illness. You are unbelievable. Oh, I'm utterly believable. <sighs> Toilet ghosts are probably the result of schizophrenia. Schizophrenia. No. Oh, schizophrenia. <laughs> Never. Oh my God, <laughs> Reincarnation. Nope. A soul. Nope. Well, that, what stops us from killing each other? Societal pressure. Astronomy. Biology. Chemistry, zoology. What about babies? You have to admit that babies are miracles. I don't believe in that. I have seen some fucked up babies in my time. God. So, where did it all begin? Like, who or what set it in motion? Probably nothing. Or inertia. Ugh, oh, such a lonely thought. It's actually the opposite of that. Think of how lucky we are. Of all the ways the universe could have gone, a gajillion coincidences led to this moment, to this, oh, random awesome dog we got at a shelter, to you being you. Think of the millions of sperm cells that had to duke it out for your mom's egg. Gross. And that one particular awesome sperm cell won. Oh, fucking lucky. See, I think it was fate. Happy, happy accidents. It fills me with joy that today happened to be sunny, the city happened to build this park, you happen to fall off your bike at six years old and get that cute scar. And I happen to fall in love with you. <laughs> and you happen to give me the perfect segue. For what? For me to ask you to marry me. Huh? Keith. Will you marry me? Wow. I don't believe in that. So, what you're saying is... What I'm saying is that everyone who gets married either ends up divorced or unhappy. Oh, that is so cynical! Name one happy, long-term gay couple. Uh, Neil Patrick Harris and his husband. I don't believe that. They have PR people! But I think that you're the one. I don't believe in that either. How could you not believe in that? I think there are a million the ones out there. I, I think you're in the category, yes, but I could have made it work with any number of guys. That really, really hurts to hear. It shouldn't. 
What we have is amazing and it's real. It's not based on some made up heteronormative fantasy. Gross. Look, if I swore to you that we would stay together and then something did happen to break us up, I would be a liar and I couldn't bear that. But what I can tell you is right now, at this moment, I love you with every molecule in my body and I hope, 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 hope that doesn't change. And then let's make sure it doesn't. It's not that simple. People grow apart, people become different people. Then let's promise that we will not become those people. Can we do that? I simply don't believe in that. I want to be with you forever. I want to be with you forever. I don't think that's something I can swear to. Yeah. I want you to believe there's a God. I want to believe that too. But I don't think that's something I can swear to. Then where does that leave us? I don't know. Honey, is that a toilet ghost? Yep, I see it too. Ah! Oh, so it's not mental illness. That is correct. Uh, I think I was wrong about a lot of stuff. Prepare to die. I think I was wrong too about a lot of stuff. Derek, I don't want to die having never been married to you. Well, shit. But hold up, hold up. Uh, the paperwork said I'm supposed to murder a stray couple. Is this apartment 6G? Oh, 6F. You're looking for the couple next door? <laughs> of course. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> I always do this. As you were. <laughs> that duvet is fantastic, by the way. Can we get married, please? Like, right now? Let's go to St. Michael's. I want to make sure God's watching. Yeah. My bad, mates. So sorry. But that duvet is fabulous, by the way. Oh my god. Okay, I am so sorry, you guys. And I love your duvet. That's that's like high quality. Oh, okay. My bad, dudes. Like, I can't read. So, oh, oh. I like your sheets. Your place is uh, beautifully appointed and shit. So, I appreciate that. So I'm gonna take off.